Hi everyone, welcome to Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. Today we'll be talking about the details and specifics of the GTS 2 Mini, the Amazfit GTS 2 Mini. We'll be talking about the specifics, some of the features which are actually hidden from the casual user. You can call this tips, tricks, hacks, whatever you want to call them. Nonetheless, there are plenty that we want to show you and tell you about today. When we think mini, we think small, right? Smaller than the original, cut down? Uh, not in this case. There is nothing cut down or shortcut in the 1.55 inch AMOLED display. Inbuilt GPS, goal-based workouts, stress monitoring, blood oxygen saturation, world clock, three sleep stages, and so much more. Who is the Mini 4? Well, it's got the health and the sport enthusiasts in mind. The amount of sport and well-being features and functions is just staggering. Of course, the watch will accommodate the casual users as well, but if you're on the lookout for a solid yet budget activity and health metric tracker with tons of optionality and customizations, keep watching. This smartwatch is for you. The watch can monitor your sleep with three sleep stages, REM, deep and light sleep. You also get a sleep score and recommendations on how to improve your sleep quality. There's also a stress monitor. The GTS 2 Mini can check to see where your personal stress levels lie, from relaxed, normal, medium or high. A nice touch is the addition of a guided breathing app. It also helps you relax or simply perform respiratory exercises. Luckily, the watch also gets an SpO2 monitor, aka blood oxygen saturation. Considering the monitor is on demand, essentially at a point in time, the readings are stored and transferred to your smartphone when synced. You can see trends in the Zap app, or you can see the trend up to three hours on your watch face. The Mini also gets Pi, like any other wearable from Xiaomi or Mass Fit wearables. So what is Pi? Pi essentially is a single value metric that incorporates your heart rate, your sleep data, your step count, as well as your activities, as well as the intensity with which you perform that activity. To basically give you one value, there is a general rule of thumb with the Pi metric. Statistically speaking, if you keep that value above 100 points, it means that you're 25% less prone to getting heart disease. The watch also gets 70 sport profiles. These range from the basics like running and walking, tap on more sports and choose from a range of sport categories like ball games, winter sports, dance sports, with the likes of ballroom dancing, hip hop and belly dancing. The 70 sport profiles are actually all the more functional due to being 580 and waterproof and having inbuilt GPS. Inbuilt GPS gives you independence from your smartphone for distance and speed tracking. We've actually performed two GPS tests on the Wesnos channel and you'll find them in the cards above or in the description below the video. Basically, we've used the GTS first version as well as the GTR2 in a comparison against the likes of Garmin smartwatches, uh, Huawei and Honor. And in both cases, the most accurate GPS sensor was actually on the Amazfit smartwatches. Additionally, the GTS2 Mini includes a compass, an air pressure and altitude widgets. What makes the GTS2 Mini so much more functional is the fact that the workouts are now goal-based. That means that not only can you view your real-time data, you can set goals per workout. For example, calories to be burned, distance and time to perform an exercise. Sports and activities were given plenty of thought in this watch. We can talk for hours about all the features here, but for the purpose of this summary, the highlights are you can adjust and customize the data displayed during your activities. You can also adjust the real-time graphs for your health metrics. On top of this functionality, you also get activity alerts, heart rate range alert. So if your heart rate is out of the predefined heart rate range when you're working out, the watch vibrates you to notify that your heart rate is too high or too low and displays your current heart rate. There's also the pace too slow alert. So essentially, if your real-time pace is lower than the predefined value, then the watch will let you know about it. If you're an avid traveler or just work with different time zones, well, if you do, that's fine, because now there's a world clock app on the watch face of the Mini. And you can actually add up to 20 locations in the Zep app, and that will synchronize to your watch face. And what's really cool about this is that you can actually see the time, the date at that location, 
plus you can see the time difference between your local time and the time at that particular location. We don't usually discuss things like alarms on the Wes Knows channel, but I think it's handy to know that on this particular watch you can actually control your alarms from the Zep app as well as from the watch face. In fact, you can set up to 10 alarms on the watch. And by the way, smart alarms do not work here. You also get a Pomodoro tracker and this app allows you to manage time efficiently and scientifically. You set the concentration time in a cycle. This allows you to strike a balance between your work and breaks with minimum interruptions and make time management more intuitive and effective. The theory behind Pomodoro is that each work period lasts 25 minutes and is followed by a 5 minute break. But you can create the custom work time and break time by tapping the up and down arrows. We get quite a number of questions about how do you actually navigate the watch when you've got a workout happening and your workout screen is on. So that's what we're going to show you right now. When you select a workout type other than swimming sports, you can view data on different screens by swiping vertically on the screen or pressing the physical button. Press and hold the physical button to end the workout. The pause screen appears. If you tap continue, the watch continues to record workout data. The data will not be saved if there are insufficient activity records. And many of you have been asking, is Alexa coming? Well, yes it is, but it's coming as an OTA update. Thanks for watching everyone. If you did find this review interesting and insightful, then you know what to do. Please click the red subscribe button below the video to make sure you don't miss any of the upcoming content.